The story of Titanfall has been half milked to death, and it's a shame that the state of the game has been spoken to death. About its death. But despite that, I'm here making stuff for a game I love. Pilots. The little insects that titans can smoosh. In comparison to titans, their power is minute. A good titan player can dominate a lobby, but behind every titan there's the pilot. Titans have the power, pilots have the movement, and that's what makes pilots so fun to play. While you don't have a hulking mech around you, you're weak, but you can feel like a god. And I'm not here to talk to you about the various weapons, despite my clear use of only one, but I'm here to rank the pilots classes according to what I think is best and worst, going from S to F, and without any ado, let's go into it. Starting off with Invis, the pilot for the player who likes to sneak around and hide, getting behind other players to take fights when they're ready. The cloak isn't perfect, unless it's against titans, but it doesn't need to be, since in conjunction with low profile you become invisible, a titan terror. Titans can't see you coming and they won't know that you're stealing their sandwiches until it's too late. Invis is a good pilot, especially against titans. Within a 1v1 scenario against another pilot, however, they're next to useless, since if you aren't already invisible, it means your ability won't do anything for you, which makes pilot 1v1s... it makes you feel powerless. It's better than no power, I guess, but it's not good. So I'd put it in a low B tier. Then we have the holo pilot. There is a lot of hate towards the holo pilot, but paired between holo and phase, they're my most played pilots for a few reasons. Holo Pilot thrives on misdirection, and in a game that's all about incredibly fast paced running, jumping and shooting, where you shoot whatever moves first and you shoot the first thing you see, it means using the Holo Pilot basically as a flashbang of some sort, where wherever you go around a corner, you throw a little one of your clone man Clives, and hope that the person who is hard scoping with a Kraber sweating his gamer nuts off to shoot you, shoots the clone, and not you, so that you can get that delicious kill. When stuff moves fast in Titanfall, you don't have time to think about what you're shooting at, so throwing your holo pilot while zooming in the air is crucial. You would be surprised how effective the holo pilot is if you give it a shot. So for that, I'd give it a high B tier. I know a lot of people will disagree with this, but I mean, he's one of my most played and I kind of have a small obsession with him, so allow it. Stim is probably the most played pilot. I have no statistics to back that up whatsoever since I'm lazy, but you can probably take my word for it. In a game all about fast paced shooting and murder before they murder you, it's not hard to see why Stim is so popular. The fast health regen, and the high boost of speed, it means you can drive by whoever you want whenever you want. Assuming you aren't on cooldown. I think Stim is strong, that's undeniable, however I tend to not play it, since the speed I gain it feels cheap. While I get that it's in the game and you can use it, it just feels like pressing a button to go zoom. I like to earn my speed. I tend to play other pilots with things like the gravity star, so I can get my speed when I want it and not give up my other powers. However, stim in conjunction with things like bee hopping or strafe jumping makes you the funny little June buggy hopping along the map. I've gone into private games and just bee hopped around with stim is therapeutic, as well as stim escapes when your titan detonates. You didn't know about that? Well, most people don't. If you pop stim at the moment your titan detonates, then air strafe away, your distance and speed is incredibly increased, making it near impossible for titans to pick you out of the air, simply because they don't expect it and you're too far away by the point they realise. A tier. A wall is the funny man. I mean, who doesn't love hard scoping with the Spitfire at the highest point of a map, beaming down enemies when they can't shoot you back? Oh gee, your cock is so massive, I can see it from here, even from behind your shield. I don't think A wall should be in the game. Intrinsically, it just doesn't fit the rest of the game. It incentivizes you to bunker down and defend one spot, which on paper sounds fine, but it's the damage amplification that is the problem. I mean, when your bullets do more damage than the other people's and you can't shoot them back, it just doesn't sound fair to me. You basically break your legs in exchange for the ability to do more damage while stood still. Now, contradicting myself, they are easy to kill. I mean, the only problem is that Whenever any semi-competent player with frags comes along, well, you're an unmoving target. All they have to do is throw a frag to blow you up and you're massive schlong to kingdom come. It's strong, but it's open to attack, since you aren't going to move, and in Titanfall, if you know where somebody is and they aren't moving, they're as good as dead. 
F tier. And yes, this decision was made out of anger and malice. Now imagine Tarzan, but cool, wearing a helmet and has an insane need for speed. That's a grapple pilot. Grapple pilot is one of the initial pilots you get for free, because EA was nice like that. Grapple's good, you can slingshot across the map at crazy speeds, and it's the only ability that if you manage correctly is basically always off cooldown, but I don't like it, and I don't use it. This and AWOL I don't use much. The power within it is undeniable, and I can see why there are all these players zooming around the map. And I can also somewhat do that. See? I, I just tend to forget that I have grapple and not use it. It's strong when it comes to it, but I feel useless in a 1v1 since I have no ability that does anything really. Since your speed gain is an instant, so getting shot is still on the table. Which is why I put grapple low B tier. I'm aware that I will be murdered for this, but I guess... It is what it is. Maybe I'm just a terrible grapple pilot. Pulse pilot is a strange one. I can't say that I've ever dedicated a huge amount of time to playing them, since if I want to see people through walls, I'll just equip a map hack. It's a lot more often than a map hack. And you can see people with a sonar blade, and if you can see them, you can kill them. But if you miss it, then you've got literally nothing. If you miss it, you're worse than invis and grapple in the 1v1, since you literally have Nothing. Nothing for the next 40, I don't know how long it is. Your sonar blade is an instant kill, however, which is nice. But when you have a dedicated grenade slot that does the exact same, if not better, why would you go for kills with it? Apart from the sweet, sweet finisher, which I admit is kind of cool. But with all of the people on North Star at the moment, it doesn't matter. Because you don't have to get those special kills to get the execution. C+. Plus. Lastly, we have FaZe. Now, I'm gonna ask you, do you like dying? <laughs> do you like being evaporated faster than you can spell out the entire English alphabet? Well, too bad, because FaZe exists. FaZe allows you to be in danger, take fights that you probably shouldn't, and then just, when it goes south, do a cheeky 180 and dip. This tied with the fast regen kit and gravity stars means you can zip in faster than stim, get a pick, zip out and phase away, and by the time your phase has ended, you're full HP again. Phase benefits most from the tactical weapon mod. It means that when you kill, it shortens the time on your ability. This leads to moments where you can just pop stomp. But the slightest sense of danger, you can disappear, never to be seen again. Nobody can touch you. You are untouchable. Especially in the 1v1. You're good. No, you're not even- you're great. If anything starts to head south. Just pop, phase, cook a frag, and when you come out, you'll have a little ball of hate to make the other pilots wish they hadn't gone against you. S tier. These are the facts as we see them. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me a while to finish writing the script and putting it all together, but it's all good now because it's done. I couldn't make the usual jokes, but uh, I am now... Uh, I now, in fact, own your toaster. Um, or something <laughs> or i could leave you with a heartfelt message no matter how good you think you are at the game i can always just steal your internet router then who's better at video games hmm? look at you no internet sucks to be you anyway um i hope you enjoyed consider subscribing you would meet a bunch and i hope to see you in the next one. Oh, and i apologize if any of my uh, opinions in this one were a little bit out there for uh, public consumption uh I'm aware that a lot of people are very, like, hard-pressed with their mains. I understand it, you know, people love who they play. But anyway, thank you. Have a nice day.